Absolutely, Pac-12 after dark, you have to own it, and especially a night like tonight, and a guy like that, number five, Kayvon Thibodeau, get ready for the second half of this ball game, having to sit out the first half due to a target penalty in the Stanford game. Tonight, you got to capture, you have to be the lead-in for college football weekend, and everybody's talking about these Oregon Ducks as the season goes along, and a lot of it has to do with that guy, number five. Got the, got the uh, hands and wrists and arms. Oh, he's, he's getting the eyes ready. <laughs> he's ready to go. Back to the playoff picture. If they can win, and right now they're about 4% according to the All-State playoff predictor. If they can win the Pac-12, they'd be all the way up to over 60%. And so if Georgia wins the SEC, that would eliminate Alabama. Right. Ohio State, you'd love to be in a head-to-head -head conversation with the Buckeyes because you've got the head-to-head -head yeah, win. Yeah. <laughs> Clemson pulled out a squeaker against Syracuse tonight. They've already got a couple of losses. Yeah, but I think, like Coach Cristobal talked about this week, we just got to be the best one and all we can be. Yeah. If we're worrying about what can happen down the road, that's where we can lose and get and have a nice little hiccup along the road, which I think last week or the prior game against Stanford was the eye opener, was the wake up call that they Oregon needed to play and be 1-0. Oh, Seven so years of the college football playoff, twice the Pac-12 has had a team in it. Swimming defense there for the Ducks. There has never been a two-loss team reaching the national semifinals, which will be at the, the Cotton Bowl and the Orange Bowl this year, and then on to the national championship in Indianapolis. That's at 93. Replacing C.J. Burdell out for the season with an injury for Oregon. That's been a huge part of their story. Overcoming that adversity, die up the middle. Oh, by the way, when the playoff selection committee does convene in a couple of weeks' time, Kirk, they will have to consider that in the Stanford loss, Burdell did get hurt, and Joe Moore had the O.C. was not calling plays. And yeah, a game that went into overtime. Yes. One bad drive by the Oregon defense, really something that they talked about throughout that bye week last week. How they much better they can be than what they showed that last drive, but a lot of moving parts, guys that were injured out of the game. They said if they could replay that sequence, they felt like they could have stole a victory down in Stanford. And it could be wild in the north. Of course, Oregon State's off to a good start. They game tomorrow in the south, Arizona State at Utah. That pass. Two different teams have been right the 